I'm Johnny. And this is Tater. Tater, if you, if you could stand over here to my left, thank you very much. Yes, fantastic. How you doing, folks? Let's try that one more time. How the hell you doing? Much better. All right, so we've got rules. Yay! That is the correct level of enthusiasm for most sets of rules, but ours are pretty bitchin'. Yeah. Okay, so rule number one, thou shalt not sue. I know that sounds really scary and like you're signing something away. All that we ask is we're broke as it is. We don't want to be more broke. So if you happen to find yourself injured either physically or emotionally, <laughs> all we're asking is that you talk to us before your lawyer and let us sort it out as best we can, okay? Alrighty. Rule number two. Thou shalt sayeth cheese. Cheese. Cheese and taters. Yeah. That sounds like a pretty good thing. Yeah. Yeah. But we we already got the joke. Thank you. But you're you're participating, which is good. So yeah. All right, so you may have noticed we've got photographers all over the place, and also if you look all the way in the back, our fantastic videographer Alicia. They are going to be taking photos and video respectively. One of the things that means is, A, you might end up on camera, especially if you do awesome things. So understand that that might happen. It also means that you may end up on camera even if you don't do awesome things, particularly if you get up during the act. Don't do that, especially tonight because the camera is all the way in the back. But. I see a table that, you know, we would like to have filled, so if anybody wants to fill up that table so it looks good on camera, that would be fantastic to see. But either way, point is, there's lenses, understand they are there, and be aware of their location in response, in relation to you, okay? Alrighty, that was really wordy. You might end up on film. Okay, moving on. Number three, thou shalt be high in spirits alone. The hecklers are out there. <laughs> that one worked. Okay, so, um, High End Spirits Alone. This is a really cool place. It, however, is not that cool. So, if you can't share it with a cop who doesn't hang out with us, don't bring it within these walls. It's still the state of Texas. There are some things that are not legal. So, yeah, just understand laws and stuff, okay? All righty. Number four, thou shalt clap, damn it. That's right. What we ask is that if you see something that you like up here, let the performers know as enthusiastically as you can, whether that's clapping or, you know, wolf whistles or hooting and hollering of any sort. The point is, you like what you see, let the performers know, and they will keep coming back and doing it just for you. Can you do that for me? Glad to hear it open stage. Thank you. Yeah. Woo! What he said. All right, number five. Thou shalt take thy positivity pill. Say hi, Pilly. Pilly doesn't exist tonight, so. It's a placebo. Placebo, my, whoa, maybe not. Say bye, Pilly. Bye. And so we remember our dear friend, Pilly. <laughs> that. Yeah. Um, medic. Okay, Pilly is our mascot. He reminds us to be positive. That does not mean that you have to be super and you know, super sappy all the time because, well, then you end up sticky in an unpleasant way. Instead, what we ask is that you remain positive. Support the people who get up here because it is really hard to get up here and do this thing. But if you make this a safe place, these performers will go to the ends of the earth to entertain you. Can you make that happen? <laughs> Glad to hear it. Number six, thou shalt engage. 
Apparently we're going about warp factor two and a half. <laughs> um, okay, so what we ask is you're here. You've already paid your money. So you might as well see the show you came to see, right? Okay, so what we ask is that you take your phones, your laptops, your tablets, any other electronic devices and turn them off so you can just watch the show, engage in the show, enjoy yourself, because that's what you're here to do, right? Yeah! Okay. Number seven, thou shalt not keep score. This is not American Idol. It is not the X Factor. We don't have some snarky British guy saying, no, no, get off my stage, no. We don't have that. We don't have a judge's table because we sold it for beer money. Yeah! Point is, you may see something up here that makes you go, man, I could never do that in a million years. And you know what? That's crap. You totally can, and we will help you get there. You may also see something up here that you think, I could do better than that. Well, then take off your judgy pants, get up here, and do it. And we appreciate that. Point is, don't keep score against others or yourself. Number eight, thou shalt play nice together. Now, this one's especially important because, well, like in life, it's important to respect boundaries. And, you know, sometimes, for example, you go to a party and, and you think to yourself, man, I'd really like to get in their underpants. But you know, the important thing about that is that you get permission if you want to get inside someone's underpants, right? That, that, makes, that makes sense. Tater? Yes, sir. May I please get inside your underpants? I would love it if you would get in my underpants. Oh, th this is just the best part of my day. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You and me both. I made a friend. You, you can learn a lot about somebody when they're in your underpants. This is very true. You can learn quite a bit about someone from their underpants. Um, by the way, yeah, um, yeah you, so, so laundry day is soon then. It is. Okay then. That's the back. Uh, I have yeah. the weirdest boner. Right. Well. Yeah. All right, so, consent is sexy, right, folks? Okay, so, I know you do, Chris. Well, it, it came from my pocket, and I am glad to see him. It's okay. My day just got even better. All right, so number nine, thou shalt respect the venue. If you look around, there's a lot of really nice stuff. It's not broken yet. Don't change that, okay? It also means don't put your drinks on the floor because I promise someone will knock it over and spill it. If someone makes a mess, like in this guy, well, well I, you know, I'm not gonna talk about the mess. In, uh, point is, if, if you make a mess, let one of us know so we can get it cleaned up as soon as possible, right? Okay, and lastly, rule number 10. Thou shalt not confuse this for a democracy. Whoa. Sorry. I don't know what happened. I think someone may have left the Hitler filter on. Oops. Okay, so that sounds like all dictatory and stuff. Well, no, not, not dictatory, but you know. Um, so, well, I am in his underpants, so you know. Uh, but really, it sounds... Oh my. It sounds like we're some sort of evil overlords and well, when you look this ridiculous. Oh. Oh man. Ow. I, that, that pun was so bad I think it gave me a stroke. Oh wait, no, the spots I'm seeing are just from the spotlights. Okay, never mind. 
Um, instead, what it means is while technically we do run this thing and occasionally we might ask you to do something for the safety and enjoyment of every, everyone around you, really it just means we can do stuff for you. If you need like some chairs or an extra table or like, I don't know, 50,000 more pairs of these giant underpants. We only have the one. We can't actually do that last one, but we can do, totally do the other stuff with the tables and chairs. Okay. Yeah, so if you need something, let us know. We'll do the best we can to get it for you. Does that all sound good? Yeah. All righty. Well, but, but I've learned so much about my friend in his underwear. Yeah, it's, it's That's right. That's right. What happens in a clown's underpants stays in a clown's underpants. Exactly. Except for the thing with the handkerchiefs, that one. <laughs> anyway, as long as you're all okay with all of that stuff, are you all okay with that stuff? Yeah. I'm glad to hear it. In that case, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the open stage. Yeah. And now, I give you your Master of Ceremonies, Russ.